guys welcome back okay so I really wanted to create a bold bright colorful look today but I wanted to do kind of a monochromatic look instead of a rainbow look and instead of testing out one of my newer more expensive indie brand palettes I decided I wanted to go ahead and try out a nice inexpensive palette for you guys today so this is the palette I'm playing with it's the beauty glazed color fusion over the rainbow palette very cute packaging cardboard it's matte with the little shiny details on it but this is what she looks like you guys beautiful rainbow eyeshadow palette you can see all the gorgeous shades but just looking at it you can tell that it's just a lot of variations of the same color. So this palette is really for someone who just likes to play in color, maybe likes to fade out different shades. But as you can see, it's basically a bunch of mattes, but the center row is all satin shades of the same color. So what I did was I went ahead and just swatched all the satin shadows for you so you can see how those look swatched. And I was truly impressed with the swatches. Very pretty, nicely pigmented, beautiful, beautiful shade. I also wanted to swatch some of the mattes, but since they're so similar, I just decided to swatch a few of the darker matte shades in the palette, just so you can see how those look swatched. And I was impressed with these swatches as well, especially that blue. Very, very pretty very colorful I really really had a good time playing with this palette you guys so let's just go ahead and jump into this look today so I'm starting out using my Mac soft ochre paint pot I haven't used this in a long time you guys this was my jam for quite a while and I stopped using it so I wanted to go back and try it out for this look today just to give me a nice even canvas for this look. Now I decided to start out with that dark blue shade. I mean, when I swatched it before starting this video, I was really impressed with the swatch, so I was really curious to see how it was going to perform on my lid. The pigmentation is very nice on this shadow, and it blends out very easily. I mean, with any dark matte shade, you know you're gonna have to put in a little work to blend it out but this one blended out very very nicely I was very pleased now I decided to go into the green wanted to just do a blue and green look today so I'm taking that green placing it just above that blue so I can get a nice fade going <laughs> or a nice gradient look for this these two colors I'm also dragging a little bit of that green farther into my inner corner of my eyes, but these two colors blended together very nicely as you can see. I really, really like how they came together. Now I know I didn't want to do a cut crease, but I did want to add some of these bright shimmers on my lid. So I just took a soft fluffy brush, placed some of that yellow in my inner corner, and as you can see, it is very pigmented. I didn't wet my brush or anything. I'm also taking another fluffy brush and just grabbing some of that lime green satin shade, placing it right next to that yellow. I was shocked at how pigmented those satin shades are. Now I wanted to add a little bit more dimension, so I'm going into this lighter blue. Very, very pretty, kind of like, I don't know, it's just a very, very pretty blue shade, placing that right next to that lime green shimmer and I just love how that looks next to that dark blue very very nice you guys so I'm going in with some of my NYX matte eyeliner this eyeliner is so bomb you guys I've been using it ever since I picked it up when I went to Vegas at the NYX store and I really need to pick some more up before I run out I'm just cleaning up any particles will fall out so I don't get any blue or green <laughs> in my foundation but I'm using my Tatcha primer and for foundation I'm using my ABH foundation 
And I actually use the shade <clears throat> 490W for my foundation. And I really like this shade. I like this finish. This is definitely one of my favorite foundations right now. It just has such a beautiful finish. It goes on nicely and it lasts me all day. Now for concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And for this one, I use the shade Deep Cinnamon. I really like this uh, for my skin tone. Very, very nice. And I've gotten used to blending it out. Using one of my Shop Miss A sponges, I'm just blending out all of my highlighted areas now. If you guys have never used a Shop Miss A sponge, you don't know what you're missing. They are so... Soft. I mean, I love these things and they're only like $1.50. Now to set my highlighted areas, I'm going in with my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. I love this powder too. This is currently one of my favorites. I know I'm probably going to be crying when I run out <laughs> because I know it's going to be expensive and I have to get some more. I love this powder. Now to set the rest of my face, I am using my Too Faced Powder Foundation. Um, I like this stuff as well. I've been using this since I picked this up a few months ago. I have not been able to put it down. I even bought some other powders that I really like also, but I just cannot stop using this Too Faced Powder. For bronzer, going into one of another one of my favorites right now, my Hula Toasted Bronzer. This bronzer is bang, <laughs> you guys. It is bang. I love it. And it lasts all day. For blush, I decided to use my Steve Laurent blush today in the shade I'm Blushing. I don't know if it's Steve Laurent or Steve Laurent, but it's a very nice blush. <laughs> And once I'm once again, I'm going into this Kiss uh, Shimmery Bronzer. <laughs> it's like a golden bronzer, and uh, using it for my highlight. Very very pretty, very nice, soft and subtle to use as a highlight. Now I'm going in with one of my ColourPop eyeliners, you guys. I don't know what color this is. I cannot read it. I think it's already rubbed off, but it's like a lime green shade very bold lime green and I'm going back into that dark blue shadow and just taking like a large pencil type brush to place that close to my lower lash line very very close and I decided to go into this beautiful blue shimmer shade <laughs> tongue twister yes this is a beautiful color it's like I don't know how to describe that blue but it's gorgeous didn't wet my brush either, you guys. And once again, I'm trying to get through this Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. So I'm just using that on my lashes today. Now for my lips, I decided to go nude since I have such a bold eye. So I'm using my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. Just a nice brown shade. And for my lips, I'm going in with the ColourPop shade Slow Down from the Shayla Collection. I love this combination for a nude lip. I mean, it just looks perfect. Perfect nude. But of course, I had to put some gloss on top. <laughs> so I'm going in with my Fenty Hot Chocolate Gloss Balm. This stuff is the bomb, okay? And I'm going to set this look in place with my Morphe Setting Mist. Now you guys, I have to say, I was shocked by this palette. I've purchased Beauty Glaze palettes before in the past and have not really been happy with them or didn't think the performance was that great. But this one was amazing. <laughs> I mean, so easy, so pigmented, just... I was really, really shocked. I actually cannot wait to jump into the pinks and the purples and the yellows and see what they can do. But I just wanted to let you guys know, if you're looking for an affordable, bold, bright, colorful palette, check this one out because it's great. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.
Toodles! Thank you.